Hi, my name is Ivelo König Oking and I do life coaching and business coaching and conflict solving and health coaching and many other things. You can have a look at my website if you want to know more about me. It's coachingvital.co. Today I'm going to talk about being grateful and begin with a quote by the doctor Maya Angelou that says, when you get give, and when you learn, teach. So it was a Sunday and I was having the most wonderful day with no plans and just going with the flow. You know those days. My body was really exhausted from dancing, dancing all night to the tunes and rhythms created by a Colombian salsa band. More importantly, I got to enjoy this music in company of some very dear friends. In their company, I feel free and safe to be me and I know they only have the best intentions for me. They give, they give their time and their love so generously and freely. I have just enjoyed a wonderful cheese that a very dear friend of me called Maria gave to me, her sister makes it from the milk from her own cows and Maria got and she shared. The cheese was a camembert made for us that like mature cheese. It had a smell ready to take over my fridge. As I spread some on some toasted corn biscuits that they have here in Colombia, my mouth filled with water. It was a wonderful and sharp taste with a hint of ammonia. So I put some strawberry and maracuya jam on it and it was an explosion of taste of textures and smells. I had a freshly made coffee with it. I closed my eyes to really get all the different nuances and I wonder if it tasted even better because Maria had shared one of her treasures with me. And right now I have just watched an Oprah Winfrey interview with uh, Dr. Maya Angelou. It was warm hearted, inspiring. So I got to feel grateful again, grateful for the fact that humans like that exist and they share their lives and thoughts with us. After that, my daughter walked through the door asking me to approve an outfit. She looked lovely and I feel grateful yet again for her being in my life with everything that she is and I felt the warm feeling of love for her throwing, um, flowing through me. And yesterday I read through of some of the comments that people have left for me on my written blog and I'm truly grateful for the fact that not only do people all over the world have to take the time to read my blog, but they also take the time to send me some feedback. So thank you. I'm happy that this blog is helping so many people. There was a non-profit lawyer organization that told me that they use my blog to coach some of the people that they help. And there were others who told me how much this blog has done for them and how it inspires them to help others. So I thought, oh what a wonderful thing if what I have been taught can be given to other people. If you have read some of my written blogs before, you may have read many times how uplifting it is and it can be for all of us to be grateful to mentally go through the things you can be grateful for and with that change the chain of thought in your own mind because it is just that, you know, your mind. If you read my blogs, you also discovered how I talk about how we process information through feeling, sight and sounds, smells and taste. Maybe you have already discovered that the list of things that I put in the beginning of this video 
that I'm grateful for was representing all the senses. Can you create a list of things you are grateful for within each of the senses? How does that make you feel? What would happen if you did that every day? I hope you are as happy as you would like to be and remember it is for free to be kind. Best wishes, Evalu. That's all for today. See you another time.